guys, it's Laura Lily, and before I start the video, I just want to thank my new patrons, Giovanni D94, and forgive me for this, Guillermond. I I don't know. <laughs> I'm terrible at pronouncing things. I'm sorry, but thank you guys so much. I love you. Thank you for contributing. But I'm the Fullmount Alchemist. I'm fully aware that this is a day late. I just needed a break yesterday. I had a bit of a nervous breakdown on Wednesday and I was just not having a good week and yesterday I just needed some time off to take care of myself and hang out with my sister and now I'm back on it so yeah so this is uh, episode 38 we've got full confirmation of pride the creepy little bastard and we've got Kimberly trying to get Ed and Al to track down Scar and then he wants Ed to kill everyone in Briggs to make a crest of blood and Ed and Al are not happy with that. I'm pretty sure they've got some sort of plan in their heads and Winry's tagging along because she's not going to be left behind anymore which I'm really excited about so let's just do this. Poor guy. It's, it's, baby, it's your puppy. Don't be scared of your puppy. <laughs> oh. She's shaking. And someone's mowing the lawn and I'm not happy. Oh, baby. Hello? Hello there, madam. This is your neighborhood florist. What are you talking about, Colonel? Uh, sorry. Oh, I kind of got grief. drunk and somehow bought a car full of flowers. You want to do me a favor and take some off my hands? What's wrong? Did something happen? Sorry to let you down, but I don't even own a flower vase. Thanks for thinking of me, though. Have a good night. Okay, bye. <laughs> Amazing how uncanny his timing is. <laughs> My heart! We've got orders to keep the two of you company. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you think they're Kimberly's men? No doubt about it. Mm -hmm. What's it gonna take to ditch these guys? <laughs> Wild goose chase. What the? Did they transmute the wall? They turned down this wall. Damn it, they're trying to lose us. Good job, guys. It's gonna take weeks to search every one of these buildings. That's an expression I hadn't they seen on Elle's face before. Scar, that girl just came to us. <laughs> you mean like that? Come 
You know, it's bad because uh, this version doesn't have the translation, and it's all in kanji. We were cursed by the arrival of the greatest criminal of all time, the state alchemist, Edward Elric. <laughs> the old film style is hilarious to me. I called upon a wealthy family to request a charitable loan. <laughs> nice. Wait. Wealthy family. He didn't. They're ugly chimeras. If we can decipher what's in there, then Al and I can... Perhaps. I believe so. Perhaps. But they'll be impossible to translate without the assistance of Scar. What do we need him for? To read it? Ew! That is disgusting. That is nasty. Oh, they got him. with that. <laughs> It's not iron anymore. Yeah. He does break the floor when things go bad. Don't hurt them! Winry? I regret having to treat one of my own people so harshly, but I can't just let you walk away. Not after what you've done. Your own people, huh? It's alright. It couldn't be any less alright! Miss, you need to stay back. Just let me. Please understand. You have to let me talk to him. I need to, Ed. <laughs> There's nothing I can say that won't sound like an excuse. And nothing can change the fact that I am responsible for their deaths. What? 
Take these men to sick bay. Sorry. There's no reason to be. But as you can see, it hasn't been 24 hours yet. Oh. It's a nice watch, isn't it? General Armstrong gave it to me whenever you guys left. Aww. She cares in a weird backhanded way. <laughs> There's nothing that's entirely black and white. And thanks for showing your soldiers a little mercy. It means a lot, sir. That's nice. But I don't know what you're talking about. Aww. But it's somewhat urgent. Central Command has a few questions that they would very much like to have answered. Here we go. What is going on? Damn it! What's going on in there, Full Metal? You bastard! This is all your fault, Kimberly! You were supposed to be watching Wind Wing! Mr. Kimberly, look up there on the roof! What? What is he doing? You put my baby down now. Okay, so that's a thing that's happening. I find myself reluctant to fully believe that because just cinematic choices, they chose to cut away back to Kim Lee when they showed the explosion. They didn't show what went on between them. Because I do think Scar does feel remorse for what happened to Winry's parents, what he did. And I think he feels somewhat remorseful towards Winry. And so I don't think he would have just attacked her for no reason. I think they're doing something as a tactical advantage against Kimberly. Somehow working together. I could 100% be wrong. That's just my theory. But either way, stakes are high. And I need to watch the next episode. The first half of this episode was so damn funny. I could not stop laughing. I mean, just Ed and Elle's attempts to get away. Uh, they're meeting up with May. May freaking out over Elle. Winry was in Elle's armor. May versus Winry. <laughs> and then we got. Yoki's backstory and it was as ridiculous as he is and <laughs> no one really cares and then the fight with those two chimeras they were absolutely disgusting uh if I were Al I would be scarred for life after having that done to me <laughs> but and it seems like Miles is definitely on Ed's side in all of this, at least enough to know to help Winry, which is good because I love Miles. He's one of my new favorites. He's the best, and I just my thoughts are so jumbled. But I want to watch the next episode so bad. I just want to see how they're gonna get out of this first, and then General Armstrong's probably in huge trouble. And then, bigger end goal, I want to see if they can figure out Alka history. Because it seems like that's their best bet. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.